Hi game devs, this is JNM with a short tutorial on how to export a Blender animation to Unity if you have a third party model as FBX and want to add more animations to it. Here I opened Blender 2.79 and import the Toon Soldier model that I use for the Make a Game with Unity tutorial. I import the FBX file and, this is important, check the options Force Connect Children and Automatic Bone Orientation. And here's our soldier, fully rigged. And I'm going to check the X-ray option so that we can see all the bones. Now I will open a second window and select the dope sheet. And then I switch to the action editor because I want to create a new animation that I will use in Unity. It will be a die animation for the soldier, so I add a new action and call it die. After that I set the keying set to location and rotation and enable automatic keyframe insertion. Then I switch to pose mode, press A to select all bones and then press the I key to add the current location and rotation of the bones to the first keyframe. Now you can select particular bones and press R to rotate and pose them and these transformations will be stored to the current frame because we added automatic keyframe insertion. Then I go ahead and create a kind of fall to the ground animation for frame number 15 first and after that frame number 27, just to create the basic movement when the character is hit and dies. Then I come to the details like adding animations for the arms, legs, head and spine. But I will fasten up the video a little bit because the main topic is importing into Blender and exporting out to Unity. Ok, now we have a very simple die animation for this soldier and for the sake of this tutorial we can go with that. So I will select the model and the bones and export this as FBX to Unity. In the outliner I hold the control key pressed and select the icon of the soldier model and then all the child objects will be selected as well. After that I choose file, export, FBX. And then selected objects, armature and mesh and press export FBX. When I open Unity now the soldier die animation is added to the project but it is defined as generic animation. To use it in my mechanism controller for the soldier I have to set the animation type to humanoid. After that I press apply and then configure. Alright, the result here in the preview doesn't look correct, the bones are malformed, very strange. But it is easy to fix. Just select reset in the pose combo box. Ok, this looks better. And then we have to enforce the T-pose, which can also be selected from the pose combo box. Ok, that's it, now we can press apply and done.
Great, now we created a humanoid die animation for the soldier that we can use in the animator controller for our game. Ok guys, I really hope you liked this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask and if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future tutorial. By the way, you can support this channel using my Patreon, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching and see you soon on JNM.